simultaneously on Mr. Young. <laughs> I quit. Mr. Young really left? Yep, thanks to you guys. Candy Apple? I decided to take a job with NASA in the space program. I'm no rocket scientist, but it sounds like he ditched us to become a rocket scientist. <laughs> Ivy, will you drive us to NASA so we can bring Adam back? My brother is finally out of my school, and there is no way I'm helping to change that. I hear there's a new mall that just opened. <laughs> We're going to the mall. <laughs> Time to make sure this car never reaches Mr. Young. Oh. Oh. What would you like me to do first? Get him back from the yogurt run. <laughs> really hope this is yogurt you flung. We'd like to join your circus. Yes, a saboteur's work is never done. He's not here. We'll just wait for him. These animals will be a lot happier when we get them back to their natural habitats. in another room. Nah, let's just wait for him here. <laughs> this is so boring. Can we just go to the mall already? Boring? They do some of the most fascinating work in the universe here. with a chocolate chimp cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of a capuchin monkey, but not a cappuccino monkey. <laughs> capuchin monkey. Small South American tree-dwelling species. You guys always take the good ones. And that's why you never take your pants off near a tachyon field generator. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. Only employees and snowmen allowed. And that's what we came to talk to you about. That prank wasn't meant for you. It was meant for Tater. Really? Yeah. You just came in and ruined it. <laughs> if anything, we're the ones who should have quit and taken a job at NASA. Hey, are you hiring? <laughs> what Derby means is we miss you. I don't. I'm just here for the mall. <laughs> so you do respect me. You actually think of me as a teacher. No. We think of you as a friend. I think it's time for a bear hug. Huh, firm yet surprisingly gentle. So, will you come with us? Yeah, we're going to this new mall. <laughs> Right. And after that, will you come back to school? Finnegan High is not the same without you. Well, I mean, the building's the same. <laughs> when you think about it, the people are pretty much the same. Your failed attempt at flattery aside, I'm happy here. I'm doing a lot of important work. We understand. It must be amazing to get to work with such cutting edge technology. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Forget the tour. Let's find the diapers the astronauts wear on long missions. <laughs> Mrs. Byrne, what are you doing here? I came to Florida to visit my mother. That's your mother? 
Well, she's certainly not my sister. Look at her. She's old. Well, we should get going to dinner. Grandma's expecting us. So, when we came all this way, at least show us where you work. Where I work? Yeah, in the spaceship. Uh, right, the spaceship. <laughs> sure. I'll meet you in the hallway. Cool. Yeah. We're gonna see a spaceship. <laughs> The security badge should work. We look close enough alike. <laughs> Thank goodness that bear's gone. I've got to get out of here. Where are my roller skates? Oh, how did they end up in a tree? that I've been working on. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Let's go. Wait. Show us around this tin can. Yeah. Like, what's this for? Uh, don't touch that. It's highly delicate. <laughs> Diapers. <laughs> can we just get out of here? <laughs> Door is locked. Use your key card. Right. My key card. <laughs> Don't worry, Commander. We'll get you a new key card. In the meantime, I've reported your old one missing and disabled it. <laughs> No, you won't have to take a new picture. <laughs> it's not working. So, you of all people must know how to override the security system. Yeah. I mean, you're in charge of this ship. This is your baby. OK. Security override. Launch sequence initiated. <laughs> 28. <laughs> this computer doesn't know how to count. Very funny, Adam. You bring this back. Now turn it off. 22. <laughs> turn it off. Good idea. 19. 18. 17. Turn this off, Nine. right? Because you're sweating like Eight. the guy who doesn't know how to turn this off. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Wow. Three. These things are really absorbent. One. Lift off. Wow. How far is this mall? <laughs> boots. <laughs> no way! They're ugly and they do not go with my outfit. That is a nice skirt. Give me the boots! <laughs> hey, this light is on. Oh, no, it's off. Who is that? Never mind, it's off. Oh, check that! It's flashing. <laughs> Wow, you NASA guys have a word for everything. 
Let's see what this is. Oh, no, Derby, I told you to stop touching. Incoming transmission. Yellow. What the heck are you doing up there, you idiot? It's for you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. How you been? Lovely weather we're having. A, a tad windy, though. Is it windy where you are? No. Huh. I wonder if that's because you're in space! <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yes. No, I'm not going to ask him about the key card. Don't you think there are more pressing issues? <laughs> Just get someone else to let you into the gym. Bring the ship back now. But we haven't gotten to the mall yet. Just engage the ship's auto return function. All you have to do is. I bet he was going to say, avoid that asteroid. <laughs> Hey, 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 got a picnic basket. <laughs> Look at the size of this honey jar. <laughs> Not much left. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> We must have drifted too close to an asteroid belt. Did you say belt? Are we finally at the mall? <laughs> Would you forget about the mall? We are lost in space with no way of contacting Earth or getting home. Look, I hate to admit it, but my brother is a genius. He practically runs the team of eggheads who built this thing. He'll get us to the mall. <laughs> yes, and then home. Okay, here's the thing. I actually k kind of have no idea how to work this ship. This is sort of the first time I've even seen it. Really? I never would have guessed by the way you accidentally launched us into orbit, didn't realize the button marked calm was communications, and crashed the ship into an asteroid. Also, your ID badge has a chimp on it. Is all of that true? Yeah. All I know how to do is get coffee. Ooh, in that case, I'll take a decaf. This machine is different than the one I'm used to. And there's no scoop jar. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Wow, I ate too much. Well, suppose your cave has a guest bathroom. You guys really do that? You go in the woods? I thought that was just an expression. <laughs> oh, anyway, you stay here. I don't want you looking at my bare butt. <laughs> a little, which was kind of pathetic. And his tears just floated right in front of his eyes, which was kind of cool. Is he going to try to fix the ship or not? No, nope. he says he doesn't know how. Looks like we'll have to get home ourselves. Well, the first thing we need is power. And since we're in space with nothing between us and the sun, if we could rig a photovoltaic cell, we should be able to convert photons to electrons to make solar power. OK. <laughs> And according to Newton's first law of motion, an object in motion stays in motion, right? So we would only need minimal propulsion to get us moving. You're right. All we need to do is use negative pressure to vent a tiny bit of air from the cabin. According to Boyle's law... Boyle's law? <laughs> Where did you guys learn all this science stuff? From you. Yeah. Really? You mean, all that time I was teaching, you were paying attention? I actually got through to you? Of course. You're a genius 
dumb dumb? <laughs> yeah, you know everything about science. Including how to fix the ship. It's possible the asteroid knocked out a power coupler. If I can bypass the damaged circuit, I should be able to reroute power to the auxiliary systems. Are you trying to say you can fix the ship? I think so. Yes. Yeah. One problem. <laughs> I have to go out there to do it. How is that a problem? <laughs> now, out you go! I guess this is it. Are you sure you're not scared? <laughs> Me? Scared of venturing out alone into the cold, vast emptiness of space? Of course not. Well, I think you're very brave. Good luck. <laughs> uh, next time, put the helmet on after the goodbye. <laughs> I was right. Just a couple of fried circuits. Should be easy. Ugh. All I need are these pliers. Wow. Hard to hold them in these gloves. Ugh. Oops. Dang! You go! Ah! <laughs> Don't bother! In space! No one can hear you scream! <laughs> Dang! Where did you come from? Vietnam! I thought you knew. <laughs> Looks like you can use help. Uh, yes. Do you have a pair of pliers? Uh, fret nose, round nose, or needle nose? Needle nose. Sorry, I only have fret nose. Uh, fine. I guess I could try using those. These are needle nose. Oh! Store give me wrong prior! Good thing I keep receipt. Dang! I called! Yes! We did it! Here you... Go. <laughs> My key card! My space sandwich! <laughs> You up? Okay, now's yeah. my chance. <laughs> nice bear. Easy. <laughs> hmm, I knew I should have rented the male bear costume. <laughs> But this one was so much more flattering to my figure. Look at me. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let me just slip into something more comfortable. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> I'll be right back. You brush your teeth. <laughs> Okay, all systems seem to be operational. They sure are. This decaf you made is delicious. <laughs> Ooh, it's flashing. It looks like communications are back up too. Go for Copernicus. There you are. Did you hang up on me? No, I had a little accident. Well, I hope you're wearing astronaut diapers. <laughs> I had a slight fender bender with an asteroid. What? You dented my baby? Don't worry, I fixed it. All systems are up and running and we're headed home. Forget it. 
you're not old enough to drive. Now let's get to that mall. Well, guys, it's good to be back on Earth. It's like we never left. Talking humans. Curious. <laughs> oh, we love doing that when guys come back from space. I quit. Because of a prank? What kind of a baby quits because of a prank? <laughs> it's not because of the prank. Well, is it the coffee thing? Because you don't have to do that anymore. You fixed a ship in space. Space! That is crazy awesome! <laughs> Redbone will get us coffee. <laughs> or we'll just get it ourselves. I'm not meant to be here. I'm meant to be a teacher. I'm going back to Finnegan High to be with my friends. He has friends at Finnegan High? <laughs> not likely. Yeah, I've never seen him hang out with anyone but us. I'm not even sure he has imaginary friends. <laughs> well, I'm going back anyway. <sighs> Did you know that no one will stop and pick up a bear? <laughs> the good news is, I escaped, and I have a new appreciation for life. Every day is a good day. Hey, Mr. Tater, I'm back. Except today. No! <laughs> and we have another surprise for you. Where am I? Uh, huh? 